Yo, what is going on, guys? It's your boy Prime Tempo here, coming at you guys with another video. And um, yeah, there's Minecraft in the background. Um, a, a subscriber, um, he suggested it, so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna, you know, give it to him because I'm a real OG like that. But you know, and I haven't played this game in forever, uh, except for that one time before. But I did not know you could have two people in a boat. I did not even know that. So it was weird. Like, this man just hopped into the boat, like, right behind him. Like, he was grinding on him or something. Like, ew, dude. Like, what? Don't even know that, dude. But, yeah. Uh, started playing this. I am. This is, like, a while ago gameplay. So I haven't played it in at least, like, five freaking years, man. Like, oh, dude. Like, whoa. But, guys, this is story time, right? Story time, right? So, you know, I was chilling. I walk in this uh, biology. There's this man there. My teacher is a lady. I. I was like, maybe they. She switched genders. I don't know. Like, what happened? So this dude comes in. He's like, uh, I'll just call him Mister, uh, Mister Jimmy. I. Right? So Mister. I. Uh, so Jimmy. He comes up. He's like, I got. I'm your substitute teacher. So this man. He's. He's about. He's not that tall. He's like uh, medium, like five seven maybe. A little mustache. A little creepy looking dude. Your little glasses, and you know, he's like, all right, guys, if you guys do your work for the two periods, because it's a block period, and he's like, yeah, and I'll tell you guys your story. I was like, okay. So you know, I'm a good kid. I started doing my work. You know, I'll work, 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 work. And then he starts going like, all right, guys, second period. You guys ready for the story? It's about to be crazy, dude. I was like, okay. And, and then he was like, all right, guys, so this is the story. Yeah, I'm retelling a story, all right? So he's like, yeah, I'm going to tell you guys a story about how my dad cut me with, my, with the chainsaw. So this man, you know, they was chilling. This is his stepdad, all right? And he's chilling like a villain, like my boy does, like. And everything. And he comes up. And they are going to cut down this tree, right? And they're in their front yard. So the, um, the chainsaw is broken. Like whenever you whenever you're not like having your hand on the trigger of the chainsaw, it should stop the chain, right? And but not the engine. But this chainsaw stopped the um engine, but the chain kept going. So your boy was cutting down this tree with his stepdad, and he's, you know, he comes on the tree, right? And he got a big log in his yard, so what do you do with that? You gotta chop it up, chop, 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 chop! So, he's like, alright boys, let's chop this up, and he starts chopping it up, like, into pieces. So, uh, he's, see, so he's, like, around 15. He's picking up, like, the branches and, like, smaller logs and putting them in the backyard so they can burn it later. You know, have a bonfire, you know? So, yeah, that's what he's doing. And he goes to grab another piece. And since it's broken and it has a kickback to it, he goes, he goes down to grab it. It has, and then the stuff that's pulling it up at the same time. So it has a kickback. So it goes through his forearm. And it will like not cleanly full, like halfway through. Not touching the bone, though. And then it goes into his side, like rib cage. Like rib cage. You know what I'm saying? As, ooh. So, you know, my boy is just, like, chilling there. He's like, oh, my goodness, dad, help, help. I'm like, bro, bro, what you doing? Because this is, like, it had in my head, like, a flashback story in my inside my head. So, you know, he's, he's looking at his arm. It's bleeding everywhere. He did not really realize his side was that, was that like, broken until, like, after. So, like, he was, his side had was, like, cut. It didn't... Oh, well, actually, it did, uh, it did go in the rib cage. It was like it got stuck on the ridges, so it's like weird. And, like it was like catching on his ridges of like rib cage. It was like chopping it up. He looks down. There's a freaking flap of skin just chilling there, right? So you know he calls the ambulance, right? Oh, well, his sister calls the ambulance, which is younger than him, and she's like freaking out, man. And you know what I'm saying? Like, she's, like, freaking, freaking out full. And you know what I'm saying, boys? It's like, uh, okay. Like, yeah. Shit. Oh, my God. My bad, my bad guys. Uh, I get to add, like, another game clip onto this. Because I didn't realize we had no, I didn't have enough time. 
So I got some more Battlefront in the background. All right, guys. You feel me, dog? I, I. So yeah, sister tries to call her, but she's like crazy. She's like, oh, she's blowing everyone. Blah, 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 blah. And then, then, you know, my boy's just chilling there for 15 minutes until the ambulance comes. But luckily, his mom's a nurse, all right? So she like patching him up a little bit, a little bit, because she don't know all she's a nurse. So you don't feel me, dog? So, you know, my boy he gets taken into the hospital. They're, they have him waiting there, just like chilling with his arm like, Ugh. You know, just dead. His arm is bleeding everywhere. His side is freaking open with a flap of skin everywhere. You feel me? And then, <clears throat> so they're so rest. So they're prepping him for surgery, right? So they put like a half a thing that knocks him out in there. And then the mom's like, "No, stop, stop, stop!" Because and then that's because she knows she like she worked at this hospital before, and she uh, you know she was what's it called chilling, and she saw the doctor. Doctor was a horrible doctor. She said. Like a surgeon. She did not want her kid getting operated by this fool, right? So, like, he has a half of, um, like, knockout thing inside of him. So, he's, like, dude, like, he's just like, hey, what's going on, man? So, and then, you know, but he sees, uh, he still has to do surgery. So, he... You know what he does? He cuts off the flap of skin, right? The big flap of skin right there. And then, he pulls the two open things together and just sews it. He just suits whatever, puts it back together, right? And, I mean, that has to be painful when you're halfway knocked out. So then, the other dude comes in, and he starts working on his forearm or whatever, his hand, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, he's just like, Ch -ch -ch, this is a really good doctor. He's like topping up. I don't even know, man. It's like, dog, I don't know. I didn't ask him. This dude's a weirdo. He a real weirdo. Uh. Uh, but, yeah. So, yeah, dog. He just, you know, patch him back up. But, like, he was like, come on. You guys want to see my scars? I was like, what the heck? What? You, I don't think you can pick up your shirt, sir. Like, I'm a child. I am a straight child, dog. He like, no, nah, fam, I'll show you, dog. I like, all right, bro, all right, all right. So he, he like, he, ta he like lifts up his shirt. There's like a big scar going up and down, dude. It was a little crazy for real. Like, I was like, bro, you all right? He's like, you know, whenever I lean on this side, it, it hurts. It like makes the rib cage all that weird. I'm like, all right, dog. Like, ah, that must hurt, bro, bro. Like, oh, I don't mean to be rude, but like, how'd that happen, bro? Like, he said because the chainsaw got, like, stuck on there. Since there's little, like, hooks on each, like, uh, on the on the chain. Like, it kept on getting stuck into the ribcage over and over again. Oh, if that happened to me, I would have threw up everywhere. <laughs> like that, dude. Like, yeah. But, yeah, guys, that's the story of my teacher telling me it. But, yeah, guys, it's been your boy, Prime Tempo, and I'm out. Peace.